So how do you report a change of address to USCIS? If you're moving a house, if you're the beneficiary or a green card holder going through the immigration process, you need to update immigration when you move an address. If this is of interest to you, I'll see you on the other side. Hello everybody and welcome back to our immigration channel. This is a place where you get the most up-to-date immigration news, immigration information and everything else that you need to make your immigration journey less stressful. My name is Jacob Sapochnik and I'm an immigration attorney located in San Diego, California and I help clients in all 50 states and all over the world. In this video we'll talk about whether you need to tell UCIS about an address change if you move. We'll cover also how to update your address with USCIS. In addition, what information you need to change your address. And finally, common questions people always ask me and I'll provide you the resources you need to do this yourself. Before we dive in, if you're here for the first time, don't forget to subscribe to our immigration channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos, and also give us a big like so YouTube can show this video to more people just like you. So naturally, you're allowed to move while you're going through the immigration process. Some people start in an apartment, then they move to a house, they move to different cities. Whatever your life situation is, you are allowed to move while going through the immigration process. However, you're required to notify the immigration authorities when you move. It's important for two reasons. First of all, all the notices that are coming to you about your case, if you miss any of these notices, if you miss your biometrics, if you miss an appointment for an interview, your case will be closed and considered abandoned. But the second reason is because it's the law. The law requires you to notify UCIS when you move. In fact, failure to notify UCIS that you move is considered a misdemeanor and could lead to fines, sometimes jail time, and possibly deportation for people that never ever report an address change. The reality is that it doesn't really happen very often for people to be penalized for not changing their address because most people who go through the immigration process do update their address online because nobody wants to miss any notices from UCIS pertaining to their case. So, do you need to tell UCIS about your new address? The answer is yes. Most immigrants who go through the immigration process should notify UCIS when they move. What if you're a green card holder? Well, yeah, even if you're a green card holder, you have to notify UCIS when you move. In fact, you have to notify UCIS within 10 days when you move to a new address. And when it comes to green card holders, the rules are the same whether you have a two-year green card conditional or a 10-year green card, which is the permanent green card. What if you have a temporary work visa like an H-1B or an O-1? The same rules apply. If you move, you have to notify UCIS within 10 days that you moved. The only non-immigrant visas that exempt from this requirement are people that own A visas, diplomats, G visas, government workers, and tourist visa holders that are in the United States for less than 30 days. What about U.S. citizens? Well, if you're a U.S. citizen who sponsored an immigrant, you should notify UCIS of moving within 30 days. Again, this is specifically most important for notices because as a U.S. citizen, as a sponsor, you're getting notices as well. And if you move and fail to inform UCIS, you're not going to be notified on the progress of the case that you're currently sponsoring. So how do you update your address with USCIS? The first way is to do it online through the change of address form and you can see it right here on the screen. It literally takes five minutes to complete and you can get an email confirmation as well. Second way to do it is also online through your USCIS account. So if you file the application online, let's say your I-130, I-140, and 400, whatever application you filed online, you have an account, you can use your account, log in and change your address through this account as well. Finally, you can register a change of address by mailing form AR11. You can send the form. The form is again right here on the screen. AR11, you can mail this form and send it to the UCIS. And that's also another way to change your address. Very important, make sure you sign the form in black ink. Otherwise, the form can be sent back. Remember, if you update your form online, you don't have to send a physical form as well. One way of updating is enough. You don't have to do it twice. Remember, not all applications can be updated online. So if your application is not eligible for an online update of your address, just simply mail form AR11. That'll be the safest way. And always, always keep confirmation of your change of address form with you because sometimes if UCS fail to update your address and for some reason your case is rejected, if you have to appeal it, any proof that you did change your address will help you a lot. 
What happens if you forgot to update your address? Well, the moment you remember that your address has changed, even if you didn't do it within the 10 days, still do it. It's better to do it than never do it because, again, if your application receipts will be sent to the wrong address and you don't respond to your USCIS request for evidence or to show up for an interview if your case is rejected and denied, showing that you change your address can help you a lot when you try to appeal this decision. What if you move out of the country? It's the same thing. If you move out of the country, you still have to let USCIS know that you live abroad and they will update their records because if you're going to keep receiving mail in your old address, it's not going to be helpful for your case. So hopefully you found this information helpful. Changing your address with UCIS is very, very important. Again, we've seen a lot of cases where people move, fail to update their address, and then the cases get rejected because they never receive notifications of moving to a new address. So therefore, even if you are late to update your address, do it. It's better to be late than never because then at least UCIS will have the information and will continue to send you the mail to the correct address. Once again, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you need my assistance with any of your immigration matters, text me right here, 619-483-4549. I'm here for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.